when you're talking about something the size of Hell's Deep, it's a really large miniature. Um, it, filmed, it filled a big chunk of the quarry that they filmed Hell's Deep in. It looks beautiful. I mean, it's a beautiful thing to, to, to film and to be working with. But if we're going to put massive agents onto that, then we need to have a digital um, reference so the massive agents know where they're supposed to walk, where the walls are, where the terrain is. And um, the starting point for that, for, the, for our digital version of Helm's Deep, was a very detailed survey. And by survey, I mean, you know, when you go out in the street and you see the guys holding the poles and you know, the, the little thing on the yellow tripod, that sort of survey, using what's called a laser theodolite to, um, to measure that set um, in, in, in three dimensions. Back here on the miniature, you can see there's a bunch of orange dots. Um, <clears throat> after we finish doing a particular shot, we will put either, either bits of orange tape or t tiny orange beads all over the set. We shoot another pass on film with those beads in place, and then the digital surveyors come in, and they survey very accurately each, the position of each bead. That lets them make a digital model, which enables them, for example, to define what the floor planes are where people have to stand, or where fires have to go, or where shadows have to go. They have to have a digital model to have some way of lining up the, the filmed image to the digital image. This will go off in a number of different directions. It'll go to the camera department, and I'll use it to line up their digital camera to um, filmed elements of, of the various miniatures and full-scale Helm's Deep environments that were filmed on, on set. Um, it'll go to uh, lighting and shading, because there are some shots where we actually need to, to render this geometry, um, where we don't have a miniature element, so we're, we're creating the environment on the computer. It goes off to the massive department as well, and it kind of provides the uh, the set, if you like, or, the, or the, um, the stage for them to, to stage their massive action on. When we're rendering um, extensions to full-scale sets, we're using this as a starting point. They built, um, you know, obviously a wonderful, huge full-scale set for, for a lot of that, but um, it was shallow. It didn't go down through the, the full depth of the walls and didn't have the causeway in the, the environment. So um, there's a hopefully seamless transition between the, uh, the full-scale set and our digital rendering of the, um, the digital version of Helm's Deep. We could make a, a, a renderable Helm's Deep that we could create entirely on the computer that would look real, but it's going to take us longer, and ultimately for the production it's going to be more expensive than building that quarter scale. And when you build things physically in the real world and film them, they look real, just like that, you know? They've got that sense of reality about them. Um, and I think it's one of the great things that's, that's happening on Lord of the Rings is the, is the use of really big miniatures to do a lot of this environmental work. And, and they just look gorgeous. And on, on, on a quarter scale, which is, you know, again, like I say, a really large miniature, um, you put that on, on film and it looks real. It just looks like a real environment.